Okay, here's the final setup at the machine. I just took my, um, this small chuck and the chuck jaws off the Mazak because this is the exact same four jaw chuck that's on the Mazak and I could just mount everything on here. Here's the part with the steady rest thing. I don't know if you can see it there. On there, the, the light's really kind of bad here. I'm kind of holding a flashlight to show you this. So I don't really need the steady rest to do this, this work on here on the ends of the part, but to, to mill these long distances in the, in the middle of the part, let me turn it a little bit and you can see it. So the whole tube, the whole side of this tube is cut out. And, and when I did this on the Mazak, I built this arbor or um, mandrel, I guess you might call it, that the tube mounts on. And the steady rest of the, the, the manual steady rest I built for the Mazak rides on here. So this supports it where the part, of course, is cut away. But on this machine, I didn't have a support like this, so I needed to build this. And the simplest way I could come up with doing it, I don't know if you can make this out but very well, but that thing is mounted in this 8-inch Kurt vise that's, that's uh, fastened to the table. That was about the simplest way I could figure out how to do this and uh, get this center support in the part here like this. Because I have to mill, see the parts are, um, I plasma cut the parts half of the tube away here after I, I kind of mill a track, I mill a track in the, um, the blanks and then I use that to guide the tip of the plasma torch and I cut it away and then it's got to be squeezed back together because this, this tubing expands like an eighth of an inch in the middle here and so I, I squish it back together in the press and then I put it on this mandrel and, and machine the rest of it. I really can't show you the machine work because this customer kind of griped at me for making a video the first time I did this on the Mazak and I had to take the video down, you know, so I can't show you that. But anyway, when I'm milling this, this plasma cut edge around back, I, I basically do one side at a time and I snug these uh, jaws up. Right now they're loose. Because I don't, I didn't need them to finish the ends of the part. Just these long distances here, the, it, you get some vibration in this thing. So that's the, that's the reason I needed this steady wrist. So, see, to do these, this end work here, just just some holes, but they're close to the chuck on this end, and they're close to the tailstock on that end. I really don't need it for that, so I just loosen the jaws. Let's see, to mill, to mill the long cuts down the length of the part is where I need the support. So I do one side at a time. I, I turn it kind of like this. So this is facing straight up. I just mill down and then I uh, mill the chamfer. Then I do it on the other side. And here I just, I just, Loosen everything, loosen this, everything here because I don't need the support. And I, I just uh, do that by rotating the, the A axis. And that's basically the same way I did it on the Mazak too. But I didn't have this support in the middle on this machine and, and uh, we don't have a steady wrist that would work for this. We do have a steady wrist that I built for another job, but it wouldn't work for this. And, and of course, I got a mill past the steady wrist when I'm doing it, so it needs to kind of hold it from the bottom like this. And so this is the simplest thing I could think of, as I say, is just to make a, um, a piece that mounts in this, uh, Kurt Weiss, and it's only actually three pieces and some hardware to put.
put it together. So that's just showing what it's actually being used for. And I wish I could make the video to show you the part being machined, but like I say, I got in trouble for that the first time I tried to do that. So anyway, back over here on the Mazak, we finally got the um, spindle back in, or actually the new spindle, I should say, which is uh, came in this, this box over here, this crate yesterday, right there. And we're going to, uh, of course, put that in the machine. And I finally got the chip conveyor back in the coolant pan and all that stuff, and it's back in the machine. So the guys are coming. Uh, this happens to be Friday. So the guys are coming Monday to mount that all back on there. And we'll see, you know, hopefully get everything realigned properly and everything shouldn't take too long, I don't think, but we'll see. So anyway, just wanted to show you the setup of where this rest thing is being used and how it's being used. <laughs> 